Hello and welcome to another modelling video. Today is another update and actually the seventh one. I've realised I've been working on this for about a month and a half so I'm pretty happy with the progress but I definitely got to get cracking and get some sort of uh, finished um, structure going to see what it looks like laid out and start thinking about uh, designing decals for it once I've got a basic layout and get them actually printed. So the uh, deadline's still fairly looming hard on me. Uh, the gog was finished, so all I've got left on my little shelf here is the SD, which will also be in the Bakuk project, so on my Bakuk lineup. So I won't be starting anything new for a little while except for that Zoid I'm thinking about, but I won't be doing a lot of work on him unless it's at the club. And uh, let's have a look at what I've done. Alright, the first thing I worked on was the diorama. And I've dug out the trench um, so it's not as uniform as it was before and removed a heap of material and rescattered around so I've got more of a um, semicircle like it's been naturally dug than just, you know, something that's perfectly flat. And the soldier would sort of be climbing or laying over and I'll be sculpting some sandbags over here which I've done research on what your typical sandbag size color shape is and once I firm up the ground a bit more I'll be doing that. Look at the surface it's nice and uneven and I found this on in my bits box uh, for a little work I'm going to make it look like um, the remains of a damaged uh, power pole and I dropped it. I have it over here and uh, probably chop it in half and have Chiso just, you know, landing on it with her toe, magnetise it or put a um, rod, I'll probably put a rod since it's a lot more um, security, and uh, put a heap of um, grains in the actual pole. And uh, this is the soldier, so he's been stripped down to his basic armature, and I'm going to be positioning him in the actual uh, trench and uh, cover the armature in putty and start sculpting detail. A lot of materials taken off the um, torso. It was extremely fat though. I don't have it anymore since it snapped. Though. This is a leg, you know. It's epically, epically fat. So he'll be a lot more of a skinnier guy. I'll also sculpt a helmet on his head. I've been forward a tutorial on uh, figure sculpting for G.I. Joe and military figures by Wavehawk. So thank you very much for forwarding that tutorial. And is also the same individual that's been giving me um, advice, support and information on acquiring a figure in this scale. So that's a shout out to you mate, even though I know you don't watch my videos. Thank you very much my friend for doing this for me. He's a personal friend at the model club. Uh, not much here, some metal for the actual diorama. I'm going to start working on the wings a lot. Um, been digging out some more parts, going to have some missiles on her back. Found uh, the visor and some thrusters for the wings. Haven't touched Chise, I'll be absolutely honest with that, which is a bit disappointing though. I've uh, done the task of attaching the wings to her back. It's uh, magnetized so it can be easily removed. Though, in the next three days, I will have to have the wings um, built so I can fit the cannon. Uh, put the support stand on the cannon and then support it to the base. Uh, bend the figure over the trench of the base and then I can seriously start doing some work. Uh, just a short update. Thank you for watching and until next time.